Well, 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 what do we have here? This is a 2002 Ford F-250 with the legendary 7.3 Power Stroke diesel engine in it. And a couple friends of mine picked this up for $4,000. I still have a hard time believing that they got it for this price. <laughs> but we'll give you guys a little rundown of the truck here so you know what we're working with. I'm going to do a little bit of work to it, fix it up for them, and make it a good pulling truck, a good work truck for them. But uh, let's take the tour. Uh, fortunately, I'm not going to drive it right now. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's the oil cooler is leaking extremely bad. So <laughs> I threw some rags under there uh, just to kind of catch whatever was leaking in the meantime. But I am going to start it up, so we'll uh, yeah, put that little pan under there to catch the oil cooler leaks. Anyway, so what do we have? It's two-wheel drive. It's got 366,000 miles on it. It's a uh, four-door, full-size four-door, which I really like. Not that uh, short little extended cab door that swings out the other way. I really like this setup. It's kind of like the excursion out there. But uh, we have some rust. Uh, as you can see, got some rust there, but it's a work truck. They're not too worried about that. We got a decent looking bumper on the back. It's ready to tow. Got a little bit of a bed liner in there. Not much. It's... You know, you can tell it's been used, so, uh, but it's in fair shape, nonetheless. We do have a tail light broken here. Found one of those for pretty cheap on Amazon, I think it was. <laughs> you don't need to worry if it gets a little water in it. Um, on the other side here, I'll show you guys where the, where the biggest downfall of this truck is hiding. It's a little bit hard to see, but, uh, like I said, I'm not going to move it out of the garage, but I'm going to show you guys the damage back there. You can see the bed has some damage, um, but it didn't hit the cab, so we got lucky there. But anyway, like I said, work truck, so we're not, we're not worried about that. Cracked windshield, that'll have to be replaced. Again, two-wheel drive would have been cool if it was four-wheel drive, but two-wheel drive will work for a work truck. They've already got a four-wheel drive excursion. And uh, windows are somewhat tinted, uh, not too dark, but enough to make it nice. And uh, tires are in fairly decent shape. Take a look at these tires. And you know, when I checked this truck over, I looked for like cupping or uh, abnormal wear. And there's just none there, guys. These tires look great. I'm very impressed. So, got good tread on them. And a uh, good little traction tire there since it's, again, only two-wheel drive. But everything else looked pretty good. I have driven the truck. It's got a little bit of uh, little bit of noise, I think, either in one of the wheel bearings or a rear end. But I'm not too worried about it. The exhaust <laughs> appears to be original. Uh, it's quiet. It's got a muffler on it. You can see all the oil spatters from the leaking oil cooler up front there but the transmission looks good no leaks again all the oil that you see under here is from the oil cooler which is leaking like crazy i've never seen a 7.3 oil cooler leaking this bad but then again it did get pretty cold here which leads me to the next most impressive thing about this truck now those of you dealing with high mileage 7.3s you know how these things hate the cold well, i'm here to tell you right now that it's pretty cold out today, and uh, I've had my garage door open for a while. This is a non-insulated garage, so it does get cold in here. We've had some freezing temperatures, sub-freezing temperatures, and uh, to give you an idea there, the engine is ice cold, cold transmission, glow plug, pigtail is still on there. Now it just shut off, and uh, yeah, more about this odometer later, but you can see the three hiding there. <laughs> So there is 366,000 miles on this truck. I'm going to tell you guys more about the odometer and why it looks like there's only 66,000 here. But anyway, that's for another video. For now, let's start it up. Look at that. Fires right up. That was the most impressive thing about this truck. So then, we pop the hood. Knowing that we probably don't need to do injectors, 
since it starts up and runs easily. I've already done the cylinder contribution test and the injector buzz test. Everything is looking perfect. So you open the hood. Look how clean. Look how clean this is. So this tells me that somebody was probably in here and did the injectors. There's a new AC compressor on it. We're gonna have to replace that engine oil dipstick tube there, but no big deal. Coolant level's a little low, but it hasn't dropped significantly in the last 200 miles that I've driven it. Uh, oil's a little low, of course, because of the leak in the oil cooler there. But charge air cooler pipes look new, or new, uh, original, so tells me it hasn't really been messed with probably. There's the uh, air intake. That's all original as well. The air filter in there is brand new. I just replaced it. The old one wasn't too dirty, but I figured let's just start over with a new one. You can see there, interstate batteries, and then a Motorcraft battery over here. So I like that. That's a good sign. The belt was in good shape. I just, I still can't get over how clean this thing looks. I mean, look at this. It's, it's super clean. Got the blow by here. No blow by. That's awesome. Looking good. So, yeah, I'm very impressed. AC works, heater works. There's no check engine light. Very, very impressed. Now, I'm gonna crawl underneath the truck a little bit, and show you a few more things. Before I do that though, new belt and tensioner, you can tell because it's super clean. The radiator looked like it was replaced not too long ago. This is looking good. Let's crawl underneath the truck and take a look. There are no broken bolts around the exhaust manifold, so that's good. Tells me they didn't overheat it. Motorcraft, all filter. You can see the oil leaking from the oil cooler. You can see it coming down there and dripping off. Yeah. We've got boards. I believe this is twin I beam suspension. No leaks around here. This all looks good. Even the intercooler boots aren't leaking. It's just, it's great. look in the cab. Got some seat covers on there. They even gave them the edge tuner. So you got all your gauges and uh, the on the fly tuner right there. Came with a trailer brake controller that actually does work. So that's awesome. Radio works. Power windows don't work. I'm sorry. The power windows do work, but the power door locks do not work. All right, I've fogged up my uh, lens here. Let me clean these off. There we go. Uh, cruise control works. All lights work. Trailer lights work. And uh, got to put a dome light in there, but no big deal. But yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> it's great. This is gonna be a fantastic work truck. I'm really impressed. It's awesome. Give her a little throttle now that she's had a chance to eh, warm up a little bit. There's our engine oil temperature there. Uh, 78 degrees, all right? <laughs> it 
sounds great. I'm really impressed. So there you go. Let's shut her back down here. I'll have more about the odometer there and what I find, but uh, I'm not really that concerned about it, seeing as the guy who sold it openly told us that it has 366, not 66, hence the lower price, but I'm not too worried about that. Maybe somebody tried to trade it in or something, who knows. But there you go, guys. I thought it was a pretty good find. $4,000, 2002 F-250 with the legendary 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And uh, I'll show you guys what we do to fix this truck up.